I really want to get into production, I really want to work in the industry, started dabbling around kind of working as a PA, moving into kind of the production team. But the whole time I was looking at the designers going, oh, that's, that's where I want to be. I really know I want to do design. I did the VA first and I kind of got a taste of what production design was because I never really knew that that was a thing that was required in film. So I just applied and took a dive into the deep end and here we are. You come into this environment and it, everybody starts at the same spot. So no matter what experience you have or how many other different things you have or if you have no experience, it's the perfect place because you collaborate with so many like-minded people. It definitely was a really good balance of practical and theory. Um, even though I was coming primarily for the practical and I was dreading the theory, I ended up definitely learning more about my field of study and my topic um, and yeah, what myself and my learning style and you know, how I respond to knowledge and you know, having to study and put the work in. I worked on three projects that all coincided back to back at the same time and I think for me that was a real challenge because it really pushed me to become really organised and make sure that I was on top of things because otherwise, you know, everything will just hit the fan. You know, the course is designed in a way that I guess a film is made, like you've got your pre-people, so like in design it's pre-production, then you've got your shoot, then you've got your posts, so like realistically my free time is at the end whereas all of the post people, their free time's now. So it's kind of, you know, working, building a really good schedule. Uh, Igor is amazing. He is just the best lecturer you could ever have. Um, and I think it's, he just make, made us all feel really comfortable um, in such a small, like little close knit. It's like a little, little design family. He's like a little design dad. He would always find a way to incorporate some kind of practical element into it for us, which I think was really important. I'm really not a words person. I really don't do well with like, you know, a desk and a whiteboard and, you know, writing and writing and writing. It's such one-on-one -on -one mentorship that I think is what I wanted to get out because obviously, you know, it's an expensive course, so you've really got to make sure that you're getting everything out of it. So those mentor hours are like, crucial and you know you've got your official like 10 or I don't even I don't even know what the official thing is but like you know I've never been knocked back for a phone call or for a session for anything so the workshop team incredible whatever concept or crazy vision that you have that you want to come to life they are there to help you and like none of the projects that I worked on would have ever kind of come to light without them. So like Annie is the person that you go to for anything art department. Like she knows props, she knows buildings, she knows scenic, she kind of knows anything. Like, you know, they're, they're teachers, but they're also, they're industry professionals. So, you know, they do have to leave sometimes and go work on a film. That being said, I can still text them and be like, what is? what do you think of this and stuff like that? So it's really great. Making our capstone projects um, in the first half of the second year, was definitely one of the most difficult months of my life. I've never really thought that I could lead a team, so I've always tried to do things myself. And I learnt very quickly that you need other people. You can't always rely on yourself for everything, especially in filmmaking. Like, there is no way one person could do everything or do any part of it. Like, it's so, it's such a massive collaboration. Just being able to delegate is such a task that I've learned because I think when I started the course, I was like, I can design it and I can do everything and I don't need anyone else because I know how to do it. And like, there's actually such a skill in learning how to delegate and kind of like trust that, you know, you know what you're doing and I can communicate what the, what the goal is and kind of have a team. And you know, you go into industry and it's the same thing. Like we're doing exactly the same thing that the designers or multi-million dollar films are doing, just at a different level, but you know, it's going, okay, what does it look like? What is the intention? What does it make the audience feel? It's as simple as that, which is kind of nice to know that it's, you know, it's the same thing and it doesn't change and it's fun. <laughs> I think you have to be prepared to put in the hard work and you have to be prepared that there are going to be stressful periods. It's, that's life, I guess, and you're always going to come up against things like that. But it's all worth it. I mean, for the feeling at the end, once you've 
handed in your exegesis and your final assessments and your capstone is on its way to being finished, it's a feeling of accomplishment that I've never had before. I feel so much more confident in my creative process and like I feel confident in my practice that, you know, I can do really weird and wacky things. I do have more of an idea of what I like and, you know, find my fit in the design world. And I feel like I'm just ready to take on whatever project comes my way.